Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're continuing down the flustered MCX hype train, looking at his beautiful series of customs. He sent me a full box and in the last episode we had a look at the custom noble team, each figure modeled after the original prototype concept art for noble team. So this is a really exciting series. We've been looking at just so many exciting customs and today, you know, after Halo Reach, we got to take a little step forward and we got to look at Halo Infinite because that's the new game. It's, uh, you know, a little bit of a controversial game, but I really enjoy it. I have enjoyed it pretty much from the beginning. And one of the things I always love about Halo is the original sort of, uh, what would you call it? The base armor sets that come with each game. In Halo Reach, it was the Mark 5B. In Halo 5 and 4, we had things like the Warrior and the Soldier. They were the base Spartans that maybe came with the original like release. Maybe you got them immediately or very quickly on the progression. The new Spartan that is based basically the default of the main release game is the Mark 7. And it's kind of funny because the Mark 7 is like the core Spartan, but you don't unlock him in the progression system till really late in the past. But I mean, that's beside the point. He's still a really iconic Spartan. The Mark 7 to me is like a really, I think it's a really gorgeous design. I think it's a very basic design. It sort of runs home like core points of Halo. It pays homage to the Mark 5B and celebrates everything going forward. I love it. And Flustered MCX actually sent me four different Mark 7s, which is really awesome. They are a Spartan that I love, and we've got four of them in blue, pink, peppermint and red. So we're gonna have a look at them today. There have been some really good uh, Mark 7 releases so far with Mega. They've certainly had some good Halo heroes. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tease something very special. So stay tuned for that. All right, which one are we gonna start with? I think we're gonna go with this blue one. This is really nice. <laughs> I've noticed one of the funny things I always do in my videos is I say, this is. I'm always like, this is beautiful. This is really cool. All right. This is a, <laughs> this is, there it is. All right, the Mark 7. Gotta love those color choices. Blues, I mean, I love aqua. I love like all these different kind of blues running all the way through. I like that like in the previous video, we looked at the Noble team and they're all very dingy, very dark colors, very photorealistic. But this is more like Halo Infinite style, sort of goofy sci-fi colors that obviously no Spartan would ever wear this unless they were going swimming, but I still really respect it's it. It's got a Covenant plasma pistol. This is obviously a custom and I think it's meant to represent the, uh, now I don't know the exact name. There's a plasma pistol in Halo 5 called the Void's Tear that kind of looks like this. And throughout the Halo Infinite campaign, there are bosses. If you take them out, you unlock a special variant of a weapon that you can deploy from your FOBs. And they're also in Fiesta in the custom games. So this is expertly painted. Those blues and reds working really nicely. If you have a white base, then any colors will pop and stand out. So I really respect that. I love this. This is actually a white base as well. Like a white jumpsuit is not something you ever see in Mega. And when you think about it, like why don't we see different colored jumpsuits? Even just for fun, we always just have black. And you may have noticed something very special about this Spartan. He has a cybernetic leg. I think this might be from a Terminator set, maybe. It looks really badass. We actually had a cool cybernetic arm with this Spartan Catherine, but this is a little bit basic. I've never seen a cybernetic leg on a Spartan before, so that's why I love this. So that's a blue Mark 7. We're gonna work our way up to my favorite one. I guess the next one we're gonna look at is, is this a FaZe Clan? <laughs> it's one of the uh, HCS armors for sure. I think it might be FaZe. Uh, red with these black sort of camo netting effect on top. I, I think it's great. Though the funny thing about the HCS skins, which I know a lot of people don't like, is they're only available on the Mark 7 core and they're not available with like extra chests or extra emblems. Like they're just a, like a core spray paint, which seems a bit silly, a bit pointless to me. But this guy is pretty nice. Like the reds, the whites, the blacks, they all work in harmony. These, uh, these particularly these little white speckles here are pretty interesting. It's a little bit of a messy, bit of a busy figure, but that is the intention. Like, you can't really, like, do it any other way. Like, that's how 343 designed it. It is a messy figure. This one does come with a really nice sniper rifle in the same matching phase design. Got that green paint on the scope. Oh, that's nice. That little cross there. That's got to take some real deal, especially having, like, a little gap in the middle. Ah. Looking fantastic, FaZe Clan member. Can join FaZe Clan? Come, come join FaZe Clan. Give me your credit card details and you can join FaZe Clan. The next one, is a very, it's a very controversial topic, okay? Very controversial armor accessory. This is the cat ears. 
<laughs> the Halo Infinite cat ears. We actually have a figure. That's so funny. I mean, a lot of customers, I know G Customs Creations made a cat ears as well. Ah, and look at that custom chest. That is definitely an additional chest there. I believe this must be 3D printed. This might be one of LS3D's prints. Pretty much anything, like a lot of these little bits might be molded. Like this might be some green stuff. But when you see something unique like this, so clean, it's probably going to be 3D printed. And you can check out all of LS3D's work and actually buy some in the comments down below. I'm gonna leave a pinned comment and the description of this video. This cat, uh, th this cat wins my vote. I have not bought the cat ears in Halo Infinite yet. They were only in for like, I think once, maybe twice, but I know they're apparently meant to be the best sold item on the store. So <laughs> you tell me, <laughs> have you bought the cat ears? If you have, then FaZe Clan's gonna get you. All right. The last one for today. This is the one I'm building up to, and this is the one I'm most excited about. I think this is so dope. I, I, I'm actually in love with this so much. I messaged uh, Flustered and said, look, I know I'm meant to be sending these back, but is there any way I can keep this guy? And he said, yes. This is, wow. The peppermint armor coating for Halo Infinite. Doesn't this look gorgeous? Like this is so cleanly applied all the way through, 100% accurate and level of detail. Those red lights, the little white ones here. Like I said, red on white is one of my favorite matchups. And also a variation of different shades of green is also great or different shades of blue. That's what makes it stand out. And this assault rifle as well, the peppermint coating matches and is really nice. Like I love that. I love that people, uh, you know, completed the Christmas winter contingency and got this random peppermint. I don't usually see it in game. Uh, I think people have probably moved on, but it's still a great one to have. I think you'll all agree with me. Flustered MCX is so good at painting Mark 7s. Like these all look so good. My favorite is definitely the peppermint followed by the cat ears. I'm a bit of a sucker like that, but I still have respect for these two as well. They are really fantastic. Let me know in the comments down below which your favorite Mark 7 that Mega has made so far. Do you like these ones and which one would you like to pick up? And please do make sure to to check out Flustered MCX and LS3D Printing on Instagram. You may think these are awesome, but you haven't seen what comes in the next episode. This is a 3D printed skewer, and we're gonna show this off alongside some other things in the next episode. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Let me know which your favorite Mark 7 is in the comments down below, and which one of these you'd like to pick up, and the Mark 7 is signing off. <laughs>